Well, Mark, it's a few weeks now since you won your second World Championship at the Crucible. What have you been up to in the last few weeks? Uh, just relaxing, really. I mean, the season's that long nowadays. We've got so many tournaments, so it's just nice to, to just be at home and, and do nothing. Obviously, spend a bit of time with Sophia and, and Vicky and, uh, yeah, just chill out and relax, really. And it must have been a great moment for you at Leicester uh, on their uh, game after they won the, world, the um, Premier League title going out on the pitch with the World Championship trophy. Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, the atmosphere was like, electric, really, and knowing there was going to be Crown Premier League champions that day. Uh, it, was a, it was sort of a strange atmosphere because it didn't really matter whether they won or lost. I mean, even if they'd have lost 10-0, I'm sure, obviously, the crowd would have still been in great spirits. But, uh, yeah, fantastic day and a, a privilege to be there myself as well. And, of course, you've become one of only six players to win the World Championship uh, more than once at the Crucible. Is that something which has kind of sunk in and makes you feel very proud? Definitely makes me feel very proud. It's not really sunk in as yet. Uh, I mean, to win it the first time was a fantastic achievement and something like I've wanted to do since I was a young child. Uh, to win it for a second time is unbelievable, really. I mean, the way the standard of snooker is now, you've got some fantastic players out there and every tournament you go into, it's really, really difficult to win. And to win one tournament in a season is a great achievement. So for me to win one tournament last year and for it to be the World Championship was something I can only dream of. I think it's fair to say that you won the World Championship without playing your best, you know, throughout the tournament, apart from maybe in sort of kind of two or three sessions. Do you, do you feel that that kind of shows how strong your, your B gaming is and how strong a match player you are? Uh, it shows that obviously if I'm not playing well I can, I can grind it out and win, which is, I suppose is a good thing because you're not always going to play your A game all the while. But uh, yeah, like you say, I didn't play fantastic in, in some of the games. I played a, probably a good session against Marco last session, probably a good session against Kyron and then oh, the final I thought I played quite well from start to finish. But other than that, it was sort of like quite ropey really. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just about winning matches. And what are your targets now for the new season? Uh, just to try and win more and more tournaments, try and get more ranking titles on, on my CV uh, and just carry on enjoying it and, and competing at the top level if possible. And you, you're a player who thrives on the big events, you know, particularly the World, the UK, the Masters. You know, you've got a great record in all of those three tournaments. Do you kind of look at the season and maybe try and build your campaign uh, around the biggest events? Uh, well, they are definitely the biggest events, as you say. But uh, I, I don't sort of go into the season and think, right, obviously I'm going to sort of take like a little break before them tournaments and, and, and go into them tournaments and prepare different. Every tournament I go into, I try and practice hard back home and go into it knowing that I've prepared right and all I can do then is just give it 100% and if it's good enough, great. If it's not, you go back home and come back and prepare for the next one. And have you had to look through the calendar and worked out your schedule for the season? Uh, yeah, I, sort of, I missed the first one, the Indian Open. I thought that was probably a little bit too close and I think a lot of the top 16 didn't play in that either. So uh, I, I will look into the calendar. I'll, I've entered Riga and, and the World Open but later on in the season I'll probably pick and choose and miss one or two more again just to, to sort of give yourself that little bit of rest that you probably need to keep yourself fresh. And if, apart from yourself, if you could name three players who are going to win the most tournaments this season, who would you go for? Well, I mean, Neil's obviously got to be, got to be one of them. He's always there, thereabouts, knocking on, on the door, whichever tournament he plays in. Uh, Ronnie, when, he, when he's playing in the tournaments. But there's, there's so many. I mean, there's not really one or two players you can pick. Like, you've got Jude Trump. A lot of players who are obviously, like, when they're playing at the top of the game, it's very, very difficult to win tournaments now, as I say. And uh, it's not just the top 16. You've got people outside the top 16 which are challenging to win tournaments as well. So it's a great time to be a snooker player, I think. Thanks, Mark, and good luck for the season. Thank you.